Verrazano for being with me here today. Thank you. It's now, a pleasure. Verrazano is a name that's very familiar to New Yorkers. So yeah. what's the connection with Verrazano in your mind? Yeah, it's, it's very familiar, yeah, because uh, uh, the, uh, the navigator Giovanni da Verrazano uh, was born at the property, was born uh, uh -huh. In the in 1485, and then he um, traveled you know, all around uh, uh, the ocean, and it was the first to describe the this area uh, to Francois Premier, the king. Yeah. So that isn't you on the bottle. That's Verrazano, because I see a similarity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's the the, the terroir uh, changed my uh, look to to. <laughs> <laughs> You're Looking. channeling his spirit now yeah. a little Maybe. bit. Maybe. So the vineyards on the property date back to the 12th century, is yeah. that correct? Yeah. It's unbelievable because uh, when you uh, you come, I hope you will uh, visit. I the hope so. Too. <laughs> and uh, you, we have a, a tower, or the tower. We have uh, a lot of uh, um, uh, a very historical garden, but uh, the the history inside the farming. Uh, we are in the same boundaries since 1170. It's unbelievable because uh, uh, Tuscany is uh, Italy. It's very historical wine region. And we have a lot of historical names, historical brands, but Verrazzano is unique because uh, we have the same vineyards since 1170. Amazing. I'm very proud about that. Yeah, it's a piece of history inside the world. And your family acquired the property in 1958? Yeah, because uh, the Verrazzano family was down at the, the end of the 19th century, and my father bought the property, yeah. But everything is uh, uh, the same, and uh, I think uh, uh, I am very Verrazzano. The, my family is uh, Verrazzano. We, we, my name is Cappellini, but we, we are Verrazzano. <laughs> and it's still very much a family business, your lovely wife, and I understand your two daughters. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we do. And then your 90-year-old mother. Yes, oh. yes. <laughs> yes. I'm very 91. proud. I'm very proud. And uh, uh, yeah, my family is the, the very strong power. And uh, yeah, there is also a connection in the, the taste uh, of our wines because uh, uh, speaking about the wine, uh, you can understand because uh, it was uh, some feminine uh, choice inside the wine yeah. later. So Sylvia, is it fun being able to work with your husband? It's fun and it's a lot of work, lot of course, of because it's, I'm much more involved in the winery. Feel, I mean, feel you free to speak about <laughs> Yes, of course. <laughs> I will. Anyway, you know, I try to welcome people who come to visit us. So I take care a little bit of the farm restaurant that we have, where all the ladies cook as we cook at home. We have a big garden, so we try to buy everything local. All the vegetables come from the garden. So people love, seems to love a lot of this experience within that coming to Verrazzano should be an experience in a certain sense. So sometimes they come over and spend half a day tasting the wine and enjoying the good food, going with that kind of wine and visiting the wine cellar. So it, it's all like, you know, uh, they seem to love it a lot. It's a beautiful holiday. So I try to follow more this side of the business. That's wonderful. So for most Americans, Chianti is probably the first Italian wine that <laughs> most people drink and are familiar with, but it's still very misunderstood. So when you say Chianti Classico, what does that mean for the consumer when they go into a wine store? Uh, I think uh, Chianti is uh, a very interesting uh, area. It's very, uh, quite a huge wine area, and then you can find different terroir, different people making, uh, but uh, during this year, uh, we mm, try to become uh, some very special uh, for the Chianti Classico, for the Sangiovese. We joke to say we are the Templar uh, of the Sangiovese, because uh, we feel like uh, to be, um, to protect Sangiovese, because uh, during the, uh, these uh, last years, uh, uh, you can find uh, uh, different uh, varieties inside the uh, uh, Sangiovese and then it could be uh, there is a little bit confusion about uh, Chianti because also uh, we call Chianti the wine from outside of the area Chianti Classico. Chianti Classico is uh, the wine from uh, the, uh, the area, the historical area, made with the traditional recipe. Let's start with the first one, which is yeah. the Chianti Classico yeah. 2013. So if you want to kind of pick that up and just describe for us what the aromas are. Yeah. 
I think uh, uh, you must know Verrazzano because Verrazzano is very, very special. Uh, Verrazzano is um, like an island of limestone in the northern part of uh, Chianti Classico area. You can uh, imagine, uh, I think, uh, three homogeneous uh, uh, zones in the, uh, in the area. The mountain uh, uh, where you can uh, find the red um, soil, because the uh, ferro soil, the uh, south where there is limestone, and the northern with the uh, clay soil. Verazzano is the, the north, but we are in an island of limestone. Then in our wine is very, very interesting. You, you have the power, the complexity of the south, but the uh, spicy taste, the um, uh, flower, uh, the, finesse. the finesse of the north. Then you can uh, have this uh, um, combination in all our wines. Chianti Classico is the, the, the classic, uh, uh, the best, the, the, the more classic from the property. And uh, you have to imagine that the, the Verrazzano Hill is, uh, is, is then uh, uh, quite uh, steep, hill, steep yeah. hill. And uh, coming uh, all is planted with the Sangiovese. Coming mm -hmm. up, the Sangiovese became stronger and stronger because rain falls down the uh, nutrients. And on the bottom of the hill, the Sangiovese is very powerful. Is the plants, the, the production is quite uh, um, uh, huge. But the, the um, uh, fruit is a little bit lighter. Coming up, the Sangiovese became stronger and stronger. And this comes from the, the heart of the hill. And uh, is... Uh, is uh, Sangiovese 95%? Yeah, Sangiovese 95%. 5% uh, uh, is Canaiolo. What does the Canaiolo add to that little 5%? What does it do for the Canaiolo uh, is uh, more easy to drink immediately, more drinkable, because uh, the Sangiovese... Such the smoothness also. Serious Sangiovese needs uh, uh, need uh, uh, time to become uh, um, uh, morbido, okay, smooth, smooth and the canaiolo a little bit help Absolutely. this process. Yes. 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 Profumo? Uh, profumo si sente uh, mammola, la, la, per, uh, mammola is... Uh, is mammola is a little... Mm, flower that we have in the area which is a very very delicate oh, okay. smell and this is the smell that you find okay. in the wine as well yeah it's very uh, characteristic from <coughs> the area uh, then there is uh, um, uh, prugna okay plums okay prugna fresca okay. fresh plums this is very important okay poi tante piccole cose cominciano a affacciarsi anche un po' di uh, vanilla, eh? a little touch of vanilla taste. Why, you, of course, when you open the wine, you have so many floral and, tastes. And then uh, um, mm. a good complexity. Okay. I think it is uh, is uh, um, a good wine also to uh, to, uh, to age. Okay. And uh, step by step, uh, the Sangiovese became uh, uh, more. Um, Symphonia, like eh? a symphony. symphony, yes. Oh, everything comes together in yes. harmony. Yes. So, what would you um, for for a meal? What would you pair that wine with? Actually, this is what we also do at the winery. We try to make the good combination. I would say that the Chianti Classico is a wine that you can either drink with a, an appetizer as well with a pasta, with a tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. We make a wonderful ragu, also the wild boar ragu, oh, since yes. we have wild boars at the property. But also with a steak could be nice. Although sometimes people prefer to match the Reserva, which is a little bit more mature and powerful wine. So I think it's a wine that goes perfectly with appetizers and, and maybe pasta. Yeah. So let's talk about Gran Selezione. That's something we're seeing more and more. More and um, more. That and maybe more, is new yeah. to, to some Chianti drinkers who aren't even aware of sure. Gran Selezione. So tell us about the Sassello. Yeah, Sassello. Uh, I was uh, <coughs> speaking about uh, the Verrazzano Hill. In Sassello come from the small vineyards on the very top of the hill. And um, Sassello, the name, is because uh, Sassello, it is a small bird in the area looking for the best grape. Oh, that's in the harvest great. time, then uh, if you find Sassello in your vineyard, 
uh, could be uh, sure that is the best vineyard of all the okay. district. They're kind of scouts for you, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <there>. And <laughs> we, we have <laughs> Sassello in the Vigneto Perciolino, on the very top of the hill, and the, the, because the altitude, the the, uh, the, the harvest time, it, it, the, the maturation takes a couple of weeks uh, more, and then you cannot do the Sassello every year. Just in the best way, but yes. you have a, a very um, strong complexity. Very this is 100% central. Okay. And it, I was uh, speaking about the feminine touch in our wine because it's, uh, the look is uh, very, very gentle, austere, very right? austere, very masculine. But uh, <coughs> Silvia, uh, my mother and uh, daughters, the Daniela, uh, the winemaker, she helped me women <laughs> and uh, they decided to have a small uh, amount of uh, uh, wood from Vosges to okay. add this uh, wine and then to get uh, Sangiovese uh, with a little mm, delicate and you can taste uh, this uh, very special uh, character in Sassello uh, from Verazzano. The other thing I've noticed, your bow tie is the color of San Giovese. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I have heard that you are the president of the Bow Tie Academy. Yeah, yeah, so I'm crazy. I have to ask what that I'm is. I'm crazy what because is. <laughs> yes, for sure. you, you must. Uh, we 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 represent uh, um, a historical winery, but a young uh, heart, a new classic. And then uh, I try to to wear in the right way, okay. and uh, I'm crazy about. It. And I have a bow tie from the region with the uh, wool from uh, the region. Then like a DOCG in the in the. Botai. <laughs> Botai Academy is a group we we are discussing about the new new trend to wear botai. I suggest you to visit the Botai okay. Academy. Send some, some <laughs> your way. So I know people are planning a visit uh, to Tuscany that you have in addition to your winery. You have a restaurant and wine bar in Florence. We do. Yeah. We do actually two places. One was open 23 <coughs> years ago and it's Cantinetta Verrazzano, which is right in the heart of Florence. And there used to be a very old bakery that we still have, so it's a it's bakery. It's very simple to uh, speak about the place. It's uh, the embassy, the Verrazzano embassy in Florence. Okay, right? yes. Yeah. And there you can also have the possibility <laughs> to taste all our wines, all the products that we have, and together with some very good food, very simple but nice. So you have all the, you know, we bake all the bread there and we make all the focaccia, we use our olive oil, all the best of our products. And then, since two years, we have another place, a little cocktail bar, very unusual, very cool, so a completely different style from what we are, and it's very close to the Ponte Vecchio, so it overlooks the Ponte Vecchio, so it's a beautiful spot in Florence. And there is a nice place to get an aperitif and drink in a glass of our Chianti Classico. You know, Tuscany is so much about, you know, the wine, the food, the family, the camaraderie. So it, it sounds like you have all of that taken care of. We try to. Yes. This is our aim. You know, it's, I would say Verazzano is like a boutique winery and it's a family-owned winery. So the familiar aspect is very prominent. It's very important. So we try all to help in whatever we can. Also, my two daughters, they try to, so we want people that come over to have this feeling and this atmosphere, which I think is very important. Be behind, of course, the wine, which is number one. Well, I'm sure after tasting the wine, it will inspire many people to want to come and yes, visit you. Yes, we hope so. You we hope so. We hope so. And we really invite everybody wish to come because it's really a good experience. Well, thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs>